so <laughs> Nick failed to get near them fellow. Not his fault, but the wind's all over the place. Uh, there's two pigs that was there. His fault. There's two pigs there, and there's two reds there, and then there's three pigs there. So we're going to do a round robin. <coughs> Oh yeah, she's big, man. Because that's six hundred. That is a seven hundred yards away. And it's got piglet. It's got a black piglet and a blonde piglet. I can't see the black one, but Oosh. she's fat. She's still there. Yeah. Look at her getting hard. Far up. And then there's two. This gully that comes down here. There's two just past it. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, she's fat. Oh, yeah. What are the other ones? Just along here, there's a, there's a round bush in this gully here that comes down. You see that round yeah, bush? Yeah. It's sort of above that in the sun. Just keep popping in, in and out of the scrub there. Small ones, good ones. S small ones, but good eating size. The one I had the other day was small, but I still got three mils out of it. True. I only took back legs and yeah. back straps. You can compare it to a goat. Still like yeah, there it is. in this gully. Oh yeah, I see it. Me. Um, I stopped recording for a, for about half an hour or so because we were still sort of looking for these hinds. They didn't really spook, and then actually after that shot that Nick just missed, it just went low. Nick just missed that one. We popped over, we walked like another two metres and there was another hind just sitting in the fucking gully. Um, then it kind of half spooked and started walking off slowly so didn't get shot in on that one. And then they just wandered off and then we stopped, uh, had a quick snack, pushed around t to where that big sow, oh, sorry, fucking tired, um, popped around to where that big sow was last seen. Um, yeah, hopped around there and then, well, you'll see. Two piglets down there. There's one. There's another one here somewhere. There's a big sow. You just gotta find her. There are piglets, but there's a big mother with her. There's not many pigs there. Just gotta find their mum.
It's closing in. It's the tin. It's hard to see. Yeah, three piglets and one big sow. We think that they're tucked below this rock here. Just there actually. Nice. Oh fuck! Holy fuck! That's another one. Quick, quick, fucking go get your bow, go get your bow! <laughs> saw these pigs and they kept coming up here and then going back out and feeding come back and we come over and I was sitting up there and I was like I reckon there's a rock bib and they're hiding under there I looked down she's bedded down with some piglets and then we didn't realize there's two sows but I stuck a bolt up from behind a heap of blood and then a heap more blood down here <laughs> blood there and then it only made it as far as you can see it in there one. Drag it out, shall we? See it just there. He's got his guts in, alright. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's me and the missus. <laughs> me and the new missus. Oh, Tell my ex that oh, he's hotter. <laughs> uh, yeah, after I shot that pig, we dropped down from the beach to this creek, climbed up the other side, back the way we came. Uh, didn't expect to see much because we'd just been across that face and scented it all and made a heap of noise and, you know. Missed, missed one of the reds. Um, but lo and behold, there were some pigs over there. And then what we thought were deer couldn't really work it out and scrab. So we went along and then our wind dropped down. Quite, you know, the wind was co coming downhill quite bad. Um, and then we lost sight of all these animals, all the pigs and that. And then I looked up the hill and saw two fallow. So Nick decided it was worth the go. So he went up hoping to get up there before it got too dark. Um, I guided him in by radio and he got, uh, he got with him maybe 60 meters and uh, I could see them looking at him. Um, and then I turn around and I'm just like having a look around my area where I'm just sitting down on the packs and I just see an ass and I'm like, is that a pig? And then I get my binos out and it's a fallow and it's about 60 odd yards away. So yeah, I load the crossbow and then stalked into about 54 and then, well, yeah, you'll see.
alchemist. Just missed it. Oh no, it's down, it's down. It's down. It's down over there. up there talking to some fella I was like oh I'm just gonna sit here and I'll guide you in via radio and then I looked down like with naked eye I just saw something sitting here and I was like what the fuck is that and that's asked to me and I was like is that a pig and I looked down and I was like fuck it's a fallow and it's 54 no it was about 60 odd yards away but I couldn't get a good position so I dropped down a few yards and it was kind of looking at me unsure I couldn't see any others around it and then I was like, ranged it, and I was like, fuck, I've got a good comfy position. I was like, fuck it. Let the bolt fly. And it was face on towards me. And I thought I'd missed it. Because <laughs> they both ran. It ran, and then its, it's mum started running. So it was, a, it was a small one, a little fawn. And I was like, fuck, man, where's it going? And it kept running. And as it was running, it got about 80 metres. And then I just saw it drop. And I, it turns out I hit it in the neck. As, <laughs> as you can see, excuse the mess. Uh... Yeah, and I come over and I could hear it gurgling, and yeah, and then it died pretty quickly after that. But yeah, I fucking went straight for its neck. Somehow I don't know how I managed that. That was luck, if anything. I was it was front on, so I was aiming sort of chest, but I've hit the neck. But you know, I'm not gonna say I was aiming for the neck because I wasn't. I was aiming for the chest. But yeah, heaps of blood. Eh? No wonder it dropped. It must have just been pissing out of blood as it ran. Where did it come from? It came from over this way somewhere. But yeah, it's, it's only a small little little fallow, but that perfect eating size. I've got a backpack full of pork at the moment, so I'm just going to gut this and stick it over my back. There he comes. Oosh, oosh. Slayed at night. Is it video? Yeah. <laughs> it's videoing. Uh, yeah. Nice scarf, mate. We saw quite a few animals. No, we didn't. Shh. Um, nice scarf. <laughs> Shot this at, what, 54 yards? Clipped it somehow. Fucking just, I was aiming for the shoulder. Clipped it in the neck. And then it ran and then just dropped. And it was gurgling. Uh, and got a pig. So we got two shoulders, two legs, two back straps of the pig. And then the whole fellow yearling. We're going home now. Because oh, yeah, I'm just tired and hungry and I've lost all my belts. So. Bloody time, mate. <laughs> you got one left. Huh? Got one. <laughs> He's got one. Put yeah. a possum on the way. Yeah. yeah. Great day. Two animals down. Fuck yeah. Nick got close to what? 30 yards from, from a red. Yeah. 40, 30. Next time. Next time. Next time. Next time. Right, see, you see you next time. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Out there doing it with Ben Carson. <laughs> Ben's going to and, and your local and your local Brescos. Yes. Yeah. Ben's filter of the week. Nice. That's my filter of the week. Uh, uh, have have a bigger poo before you leave, so you don't need to shit as much when you're out here. Yeah, that's a great tip.